Alright, so this is our plan today, okay Max? So our kiwi that we bought, we want to put in here. Now we have to get rid of the avocado, I don't think it's growing. It was our, more of our science experiment from the grocery store. We have to get rid of all these weeds in here. And this thing, that we thought was cool to stretch the goji berries into from over here. We got to remove nicely and we're going to try and stick it in the ground right here. Right in that bucket. So it's almost that one can grow and then it can be on an angle. So we'll get a new one for the kiwis to grow up here. Okay. So we're going to have to start digging out. We'll have to take out these. We'll have to take out get a pair of scissors that are in the greenhouse and cut these lines off instead of untwisting them. We've got a couple more treats to show you guys. You can go through and cut all the twine that's on here holding it to the rebar that we got. And daddy will get rid of the rest of this stuff. <laughs> furry ones but they are very cold hardy it says does it talk anything about the fruit what's got planting which we did watering mulch oh here you go this is basically the information that we need to know right here that's a trellising thing it's a trellis yeah it's a it needs full sun yeah and what about the full sun though what what amount of hours is it six plus hours okay Zone 4 it shows. Ju it, the time is July, August. You should plant it in July and August. Then it can grow up to 20 to... 25 feet. feet. That's crazy. Alright. Well, let's get that chocolate mint in the ground now. It's already got buds on it too, so that's really cool. What, does this one have a tag on it or no? Uh, yes. What's it say there? It says Mentha Mint Chocolate. It's a herb, it needs full sun. And it's gonna spread. Mm. So the one thing about these spreading, we're okay with it spreading as long as it's gonna spread in our box over here. And we'll contain it to that. So we're gonna put it in our raspberry one. All right, Max, so what did we do with one plant? We split it in two. And how did we know we could split it? Because there's two sections. That's right. So we look really good in between, and we make sure that it's two different things growing in there. So when you're buying something, sometimes you can get two for the price of one. Or just like our lavender, where we buy a big bucket of it for cheaper. All right, bud, you can stick her in there now. Remember, spread them roots out. Especially something like this, we want it to flourish in here. Yep. Lift it up a bit so you're not burying too much. So I grab it by the leaves part. Don't be, you're not gonna hurt it. Yeah, now fill in with your hands there. Stick it down more. Yeah. There you go. Push down a little bit. Not on the plant, at the base, yeah, right under it like a tree. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we'll do the next one. I'll get the pot. There you go, you got it. So that deters the pests that are right there. So we took our bench here we took the top off it and actually filled it full of dirt. Now it was a little tougher to get this middle one into there, but we got it in, we had to squeeze it and get it in. We're getting one more on the end. Dwarf Mongolian moons in here with the dinosaur kale. So the morning started off with rain and uh, we're basically finishing up with rain now at the end of the day uh, we just finished dinner um, 
these little times max are just amazing you know he didn't want to come out for this finale video but just this little bit of growing and hanging out together he's always learning stuff and just like separating those plants you know he knew to say that